Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting some demon sea within the sylvan realms of frost. Awesome US black metal. Just look at that cover photo. So cold, so evil. Awesome stuff. Grim as fuck. Killer riffs. Great release for their Nuclear War Now records. And speaking of US black metal, today I would like to go over this compilation of demos from Nocturnal Blood on Hell's Headbangers Records. This is Abnormalities Prevail. Fucking A. This is 102 minutes of straight up awesome, vicious, evil, bestial, war, black death, whatever you want to call it, but with some of the more catchy riffs when it comes to the genre, and it's fucking sick. Like, seriously. And the riffs on here? Oh my god. The ghastly apparition who is the one-man machine behind Nocturnal Blood is a monster when it comes to riffs. And some of the most inhuman black metal vocals I've heard since I first heard Zatzer. Just really, really sick shit here. 20 tracks, and also the first ever Nocturnal Blood Ritual is captured on here. And it gives you a little detail behind each session, because there's a bunch of tracks from demos, 7 inches, splits, unreleased material, and then track 7, which is pretty important, actually. I'll read you why. But, um... Tracks 1 through 6 are from the True Spirit of Old demo, which is fucking amazing, from 2008. Track 7 is Nocturnal Black Blood, which was recorded sometime late 20, 2007. It was recorded before the Nocturnal Blood concept became a reality. This track was written when Nuclear Desecration, which is the Ghastly Apparition's old project, which is fucking great as well, was very much an active band, though it was quite obvious it would not fit the ND sound. I eventually decided to use it for the True Spirit of Old demo slash mini LP. It is the first completed Nocturnal Blood Ritual. And then you have Nocturnal Crucifixions for track 8 and 9, recorded in 2008. The Imperial Impurity Split with Sagnus Imperium. March 2009, tracks 10 through 16. Invocation of Spirits, tracks 17 and 18, recorded sometime mid-2009. And then you have previously unreleased extended sessions for tracks 19 and 20 from 2009. And this is sick. You also have the original Nocturnal Blood logo by Sickness666. I think this looks way better than their new logo, to be honest, but oh well. But what you get here, seriously, are some of the coolest, catchy, and memorable, evil-sounding riffs that I've ever heard when it comes to, like, you know, war, black, bestial, death, whatever you want to call this type of black metal. There's so many different names for this genre, but most of all... If you're a fan of, like, Bahirits drawing down the moon, Were Goat, Gult Volva, Arch Goat, and I know that's a lot of goats, but Titan Blood, Demon Sea, and especially Hellhammer. Not the drummer, the band Hellhammer. Rest in peace, Martin Eric Ian. It's a bummer, but stuff happens, and... It's a shame to lose a legend like that in the music, you know, industry. He was a part of, you know, Celtic Frost, Hellhammer, very, very important musician. Martin, rest in peace, man. But Nocturnal Blood, take a little bit from uh, Hellhammer, and it sounds great. Like, everything about this is fucking amazing, especially... The Ghastly Apparition's vocal delivery on here. 
completely inhuman. Oh my god, I, I love it. It really, really reminds me of like when I first heard Zatzer and I was like, yo, that doesn't even sound human. It's that fucking good, but nobody sounds like Malefic, so. Anyways, Nocturnal Blood. These 20 tracks right here, they're just great, like I said. Like, really, really easy to get into. Just, it's a good listen. It's a great comp. And you get fucking, you know, your time and your money's worth. Like, I was blasting this a couple nights ago and just was loving it. I turned the lights out, lit some candles. Hell yeah. I was trying to invocate my own spirits, but I failed. Anyways, sick artwork on this gatefold. I picked this up during the Hell's Headbangers Black Friday sale for under $7, which again is amazing. This is just on plain black vinyl. Very simple, but also very awesome. As, like I said, you get details about the tracks. They were remastered for this before his performance at um, Hell's Bash. I'm not sure which one it was, but uh, I don't know if it even says either. No, it does not, but... um. All music, instruments, lyrics, written and performed by the Ghastly Apparition, who was a fucking teenager when these were recorded, ages 17 to 19 during the times of these recordings. That's sick. Seriously. That's fucking awesome. And, like I said, this is an hour and two minutes of just kick-ass riff after kick-ass riff, kick-ass song after kick-ass song, some killer fucking vocal delivery and just some amazing stuff like the production's great really really cavernous and straight out of some california crypt somewhere it's just awesome and yeah get into this shit really especially if you're into like early behirit you're gonna fucking love this i guarantee it and like there's some blasphemy on here but it's not like an emphasis on like war and being like the most extreme band out there it's more or less just riff oriented and it is evil as fuck but a lot more musical and just catchy and i i can't really say too much else besides this fucking rules i can read you what hell's headbangers has to say but a compilation of Nocturnal Blood's debut demo as well as a My Raid EP and split releases. Abnormalities Prevail displays this one-man entity's uncompromising evolution across its staggering 20 tracks. And that's great because this is fucking amazing. And if you're a fan of bestial, war, black death, this is completely essential to your collection. Abnormalities Prevail is an amazing release, especially since it's fucking demos, 7 inches, splits, all sorts of good stuff on here. Totally worth a listen if you're a fan of black metal, but especially if you're a fan of the war metal variety of things, but most of all if you're just a fan of fucking riffs that make you squeeze invisible grapefruits, you're gonna love some nocturnal blood on Hell's Headbangers. This is the Abnormalities, Abnormalities Prevail Demo Comp. 20 tracks of straight fucking evil. And some perverse sexuality as usual. But you have Forgotten Wisdom of Darkness. Sexphonious Perversions. Masochistic Doom. Pray Evil I Will Come. Gulp Vulva. Temple of Masturbation. Nocturnal Black Blood, Blood Offering and Desolation, Nocturnal Doom, Chime the Bells of Doom, Blasphemy Written in Fornication, Violent Crucifixion, Abnormalities Prevail, Genocide Death Prayer, Apocalyptic Rites, Order of Torment, 
Invocation of Spirits, Blood Impurity, Darkness Erupts, and Morbid Celebration. So get into some Nocturnal Blood. This is a good place to start. And I'm sure you'll dig it, especially if you're a fan of those bands I, I said earlier. But also, if you're a fan of some Demon Sea, you'll find some stuff to like. Great stuff here, though, but we've been blasting within the Sylvan Realms of Frost by Demon Sea. Killer U.S. Black Metal. Get into it on Nuclear War Now Records. And as always, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Hells. <coughs>